What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today we're reviewing the iOS 10 Beta 5 that was released yesterday and we're going to see if it worth updating from iOS 9.x series to this version. Of course, if you're on 32-bit device and you don't have, of course, the alternative to jailbreak, updating to iOS 10 Beta 5 would be very great for you because it gives actually a cleaner look and a new look so you can actually get something new from your iPhone and get something modified. Actually, at this point, I'm on an iPhone 5. So at the same time, we're actually testing how fast this operating system that is already on beta 5 is running on 32-bit devices. On 64-bit devices, we cannot question this thing because it actually runs smooth. But what we are doing on the 32-bit devices, which are already deprecated. Let's see and let's find out what Apple changed in this version. Now, do not expect huge modifications on this version because they are not here. From uh, iOS 10 beta 4 and uh, starting with it, nothing really changed very much. In the previous version, Apple added some new emoji keys that I'm going to, for example, go right here and um, um, show you. If you go right here, you have the emoji and you have those emoji keys that I don't think that are um, all of them are new, but some of them are new and some of them can be used uh, only on iOS 10. I'm not going to show you every of them. You got the idea. And the messages application actually looks like the messages application. There is nothing you can doubt on. And they changed the uh, interface right here giving you the uh, this little screen right here. Now this screen appears and uh, it didn't used to appear on the previous versions. So this screen digital touch uh, showing you how to sketch a uh, fireball or a kiss or a heartbeat or any other things using this uh, panel was added on this version. And after you skip it, you can basically draw things and do whatever you want to do. And the phone will basically recognize them. For example, if I draw a heart, it should recognize it or not, depending on whatever the uh, phone prefers. Let me try again. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Anyways, this is not very much to talk about messages application. They only changed that screen and probably they added uh, more emojis, but this is not something significant. So the next thing is, of course, the um, this page containing all the white gets. And the uh, most important thing that changed in iOS 10 beta 5 compared with beta 4 is that the uh, white gets created by third party applications from the App Store does not have the uh, white or green to white uh, background like all these from here, but instead they have a darker uh, background and you can recognize them because if they have a darker screen, they clearly are third parties. Now on the clock and um, on the part of alarms and bedtime, nothing really changed very much. They fixed some bugs on the uh, bedtime, which is their uh, sleep scheduling and uh, stuff like this application that you can configure. It's pretty cool, but this application was introduced ever since the first version. So it's not definitely something new that they introduced now. It's something they had, but they worked a little bit on to improve, which is good, but still has a lot of glitches. And the stopwatch still uh, looks this way. And yeah, you can see. But I think they changed a little bit the stopwatch because the stopwatch had a, um, I don't know, a speedometer looking uh, interface and now it's a normal uh, numbering system. So uh, what's next? You probably know you can remove applications on this um, on this iOS 10. You can remove applications that came from factory. Well, most of them. And I can remove the uh, store, for example, and I can remove the home application and I can remove the stocks if I want and so on. Now, if you also remove the music application, your music will still continue to be able to play if you removed the third party app. Now, keep in mind that removing those apps is not really removing them. Basically, you just hide them. You're not uninstalling them completely, so do not expect huge savings on the space because the application is basically just hidden from your uh, screen and not completely removed. And basically, they fixed a problem that was in the uh, beta 4 that if you removed the uh, stock music application, none of your music would start again and you don't have the codec for the music from YouTube or other platforms and you are basically stuck. Now it's okay. 
And of course on this part of the um, action center nothing changed, nothing really shifted. Uh, only some parts of the music part which is included in this um, in this window right here. If you're playing music, you have some shifted buttons right here on the airdrop and some of the icons from the music and airdrop while playing are shifted and changed, but nothing really important that you should probably care about. Now I want to quickly explain something about downgrading and upgrading to iOS 10 beta and back to 9.x. Do not do that. Uh, so uh, what I wanted to say is that you should not update via OTA um, directly to the uh, iOS 10. You should basically go, um, for example, if you go here to general and software updates, as you can see, I have iOS 10. Do not go here to software updates after installing a profile, because if you do that, for example, I have the profile right here. If you install a profile and then you go right here and search for update and download the whole update on iOS 9.x, you will basically not be able to create a backup. And what's the problem? There wouldn't be any problem if you don't care about your data, but if you do, when you go back from iOS 10.x to the um, iOS 9.x, you will lose all your messages from here, everything gets erased, and also people are complaining about iBooks that get erased as well, which is not kind of good. And probably photos as well, so be very careful because you lose important pieces of data, because iOS 10 backup system is not compatible with 9.x. And when you do this uh, downgrade, because the messages application is pretty different compared with the 9.x, you will lose important data and you don't want that. So before you update, make sure you make an iTunes backup while still running iOS 9.x, just in case. Okay, let's come back to our, um, to our featureist thing, included a feedback application that you probably had ever since the uh, first public version of this thing, you can report bugs and stuff like this, nothing very important, the podcasts, something they, um, they added recently, and here on this window you still have those um, white gets right here, including your weather, your alarm clock, important applications and trending news from the news application. As I said, nothing pretty cheap. They are good, but not something you should expect for a uh, very um, close to release update. You probably know that iOS 10 is going to be released in September, before, um, probably before the, um, the iOS, sorry, the iPhone 7 is released and yeah, this iOS 10 beta 5 is pretty close to the release, so I think it should have been uh, much complicated in the update process, but it is not, it doesn't really have very much to show up. And uh, it's something very important to discuss, basically the touch ID function. Now you probably know if you, if you have iOS 9.x, if you reboot your phone, when you try to go to the app store and get your applications and things like this, you are prompted to insert your password again to reauthorize the buying of applications even though they are free or paid. Now you don't really need to do that anymore because iOS 10 beta 5 lets you simply use Touch ID when you have Touch ID on your phone and you simply authorize that thing using Touch ID and you no longer input any passwords. This is a plus, this is good. But I still saw some glitches on Messages application that still shows pop pops up pop-ups, sorry, <laughs> that cannot be um, closed because the keyboard actually appears on top of the pop-up and you cannot click the buttons of the pop-up and you cannot enter it. You, you can actually simply kill the application and this is how you, how you get rid of that pop-up. Yeah, probably they will fix it soon, but this is basically it. So if you ask me, yes, it works to update to iOS 10 beta 5 if you make a, a backup to your iOS 9.x first and only if you are on 32-bit device. If you have 32-bit device, then you cannot jailbreak with Pangu's application. And if you can't, then iOS 10 should bring a new interface or a new look to your actually old device. But if you are on 64-bit device, I uh, recommend you to stay jailbroken on iOS 9.3.3, do not update to 9.3.4. And um, yeah, it's not, it's not really something you never saw before, just a few minor things. They change some things right here and right there. For example, the uh, sound from locking, which actually sounds like a uh, door closing, but nothing pretty uh, fancy that you should basically update for. They still have those white gats on the uh, lock screen, 
and you still use the home button to actually unlock the phone. This is basically iOS 10 um, with the uh, fifth beta. And yeah, as I said, nothing pretty fancy that you should look at. Do not update if you are jailbroken. And if you are not, if you are on 32, yeah, it works. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you get things clear. Till the next time, I'm Joe Snow. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Peace out.